Okay, so today we're going to explore how to combine multiple CMS collections so that you can create category pages just like we're doing on our own website. So the thing that we're using more and more is the setting up the CMS in a way so that we can create category pages like this um, and then filter the content based on whatever page you're on but only having one template. So if we go to our project here, this is our site project. We have the page here. Um, we only have one template and then we can create all the categories in the CMS like this. And then uh, whenever we add one, it automatically gets added to the website and it filters the templates based on uh, the category that we add here. So to illustrate that and to make it a little bit easier to understand, I've set up a simple blog about running where we have a basic grid uh, like this. Uh, we have post pages like this and we have a dedicated author page that shows a bio and it shows the actual posts that this author has written. Um, so this is basically all the posts, posts, but then filtered on author. And it's actually pretty easy to set this up. So let's dive into the project. All right, so here is a project. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward uh, blog. It's just a grid of posts and it has a article page and an author page. Uh, but first, let's look at the way the CMS is set up. So in order to make this work, we need to have two collections, uh, in our case, articles and authors. And of course, what we want is we want to be able to assign authors to posts. And whenever we update an author here, uh, it is updated on all posts. So um, yeah, so let's take a look at the, uh, the way that the authors are set up. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So we have an avatar, we have a name, bio, and then the slug. This is a bit of important data that we need to use in our articles. So here our slug is Mark. And let's look at our posts. And what we're doing here is we are referencing the slug of the, the author. So in this case, that is Mark. And that way we can uh, we can find the author in our author's collection later on the canvas. I'll show you in a minute. But with this reference, we can get the info of the author and we can show it. So we have done this for all posts. So we have Mark, Grace, Maya, Mark again, Miles, Maya, and Miles. So if we go back to the canvas, you can see that we're now showing um, the actual uh, reference that we, we've added in our CMS, but we want this to be the actual name from the author's collection so that whenever we update that, it updates here as well. Uh, and if we take a look at the layers, this is now just a basic layer with the author field. But um, what we want to do, and sort of the whole trick to this thing is that you can nest collections inside of other collections. So here we have a posts collection, which, which is showing us all the posts. But then inside of this, we can, uh, we can nest another collection and then use the data from the posts that we have uh, active here and then filter on it. That sounds a little bit complicated, but it is pretty straightforward. So let's um, start by adding a collection list. So in this case, it's an author. So we get all the authors here. Um, we want to limit that to just one because we want to be able to just show one author like that. Um, and let's clean this up a little bit because we don't need the avatar. We don't need this uh, wrapping stuff. And um, oh yeah, this is already set to the correct one. So now when we drop this collection, 
let's call this author. If we drop this in here and we remove that one, we get this, which is now the same on all posts. Mark Smith, Mark Smith, everywhere. Um, and just the one thing that you need to do to uh, make this grab the correct author is we go over here and then we filter the data based on its slug. So this is the slug of the author. And then we say, when this equals the author field in the post that we are cycling through, um, then show it. So in this case, it's gonna grab Grace, I'm gonna grab Maya, it's gonna grab Mark. So this is the whole thing. And when you have this nailed down, then you can use it on all the other pages as well. It's basically the same trick repeated. So now when we go to the articles page right here, um, we have the same problem again. So we have a layer here without uh, an avatar because we don't have that in our uh, CMS. And then we have just the author, which is the slug. So this is the posts page um, and all the posts page has or the post collection has is a slug. So if we apply the same trick, uh, I already set up a collection here. We can limit it to just one because we won't want to show one. And we can filter on slug again. And if that equals, and now we need to get the, uh, the current author again. So like that, it is Mark Smith and that is correct. So now when we switch to another post, it's gonna grab Grace here uh, and it's gonna grab Maya here. So all we need to do now is we can throw this in here uh, and now this thing is working it is not working because we need to make sure no no it is working <laughs> it's a little bit confusing because it's the same writer yeah all right so this is uh wired up nice all right so there's one last thing that we need to do and that is we need to set up the author page. So currently we have an author page that comes from the CMS. It has some information about the author and it shows you all the posts uh, of that author. But currently this is a collection that just shows all the posts. And there's just one step that we need to do. And it's, it's basically the same as we already did. Uh, but then but then the other way around so now we need to filter the posts based on the active author so we can go in here again and then we can say uh, if the author of the post equals the current slug so the current slug is the active author um, so in this case that is lowercase mark and if if that is the same as the author field in the post, then show it. So in this case, we have two posts right here, um, which is correct. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. So this is, um, once you start using this, it's, it's really powerful. Um, and again, we run our entire template section and all the categories with it, super easy. Um, so yeah, you can make like article, you can make author pages, you can make categories, you can use tags, you can set up all kinds of different things that you want to edit in one place, or you want to combine certain collections or certain items in one collection, uh, on a page and you don't want to make, you want, don't want to create all the pages by hand. And this is a great technique to, uh, to learn.